Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. In this second episode of Build the Best DIY 3D Printer, as you may have seen in the title, we're going to build the Y-axis structure. And at the end of the video, you will end up having this result. First, you'll need a couple 13 and 17 mm spanners and a pair of pliers. Optionally, you can also pick up your electric drill, what will speed up the assembly process. Now I'm going to show you the 7 printed parts that we will need to build this part of the printer. But before starting, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Ok, so back to the 3D printed components, we will need the 4 Y corners, the Y motor holder, the power supply holder and the Y belt idler. I will let you the link to download all the STL files down in the description. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print them, you can send me an email to architects3dp at gmail.com and I will try to send you the printed pieces. Concerning to hardware, to assemble the Y structure of the 3D printer, we will need first of all the threaded rods that will be M10 and M8. So we will use a couple M10 threaded rods that measures 375 mm long and four M8 rods measuring 205 mm each. What I did is to go to my local hardware store and buy a 1 meter M10 threaded rod cutting two 375 mm portions out of it with the hacksaw as well as buying 1 meter M8 threaded rod from where I cut the four 205 mm segments. The total cost was around 2 euros, so I would recommend you to do the same. Anyways, all the hardware components will be linked down in the description as well. So after the intense cutting, here we have all the six segments. We're going to start with the two M10 threaded rods, and for that we will need to introduce some more components to each of them. We will place them in the exact same order that you can see on screen, and they will make a total of 14 M10 nuts, 12 M10 W washers, and the two M10 threaded rods. To this hardware we have to add the four Y corners we printed and the power supply holder. Once we have all of them in place, we are going to screw them to the threaded rod. And for that we are going to use our electric drill at low speed. You can do the same, but be very careful, use gloves and do not hurt yourself. Once clear, we will insert the threaded rod as if it was a drill bit and we are going to start screwing everything in place. You can change to the other side to continue screwing all the components until you have your threaded rod like this one. Now we'll quickly repeat the process with the other M10 rod and after a couple minutes you will have your M10 rods ready. Now it's time to jump to the M8 threaded rods. Actually we are going to work in pairs since we will use two M8 rods on the front and two in the back. So starting with the ones in the back as well as with the M10 rods, we'll need more components. One more time, keeping the exact same order that you can see on screen, we'll need the Y motor holder printed piece, 8 M8 nuts, 8 M8 W washers, and the 2 M8 threaded rods. Now we'll introduce everything in place using our electric drill at low speed. Getting this nice result. Once it's done, we'll finally do the same with the front part, for which we will need, one more time, 2 M8 rods, 6 M8 nuts, 6 M8 W washers, and the Y belt idler that we printed. As soon as you insert each of the components in place, you will have the 6 rods ready to tighten in its final position. To do that, we are going to use our wrenches and a pair of pliers of any kind of tool to prevent the nuts from rotating. Starting from one of the M10 rods, we will adjust the components in the extremes of the segment and tighten the nuts in opposite direction. Once complete, we will go for the other extreme. Check that you have the same orientation for the 3D printed components and tighten them in place as we did before. Last but not least, we will place the washer at exactly 10 cm from the interior of the Y corner, as you can see on screen, and tighten the two washers next to it in opposite direction. Now we'll repeat the process with the other M10 rod, getting this result. Once done, we'll orientate the M10 rods in this direction and we'll assemble the rear part of the Y axis. So we'll take the assembly we put together before, pay attention to the correct orientation and we will also need 4 extra M8W washers 
and 4 emit NATs to attach everything together. As soon as we got everything ready, we will start inserting the M8 rods into the Y corners on both sides, making some gap if we need to. And right after, we'll present the washers and the nuts from the exterior like this. Okay, so ready for the last component to finish the structure of the Y axis? We'll take the pre-assembled front threaded rods and an extra 4 M8 W washers and 4 M8 nuts. We'll start inserting the rod without the printed part piece in the bottom and the part with the Y belt either on top of it. Then we'll introduce the extra washers and nuts. And after that we will manually adjust the nuts in each of the four corners of the structure, making sure it's laying stable on top of a flat surface. As soon as you level the structure, you'll have something exactly like this. One more time, make sure you have the correct orientation for the 3D printed parts, both in the front of the Y axis as well as in the back. Now we're gonna check the correct position of the central 3D printed pieces, starting on the front, where we'll have the idler. If you assembled everything well, you will have a distance of 152 mm in between the internal faces of the Y corners. As soon as you adjust it, you will place the idler like this, laying 65 mm on the left and 68 mm on the right. So we're going to check if our build is correct, and now we're gonna jump to the back part. Here, same story. You'll have to make a gap of 152 mm between the interior faces of the two Y corners and a gap of 65 mm on the left and 75 mm on the right of the Y motor holder. At this point, we're already reaching the end of the episode. Now we just have to tighten the M8 nuts on front and back of the Y structure and we will be ready to go. One more time, we'll use our wrenches and pliers to tighten the nuts but this time we are going to use the aluminium frame to set the proper dimension. Do not mount it to the Y axis because we'll do it later. Once you tighten them in place, you will remove the aluminium frame and you will have a nice Y structure completely finished and looking as good as mine. You should check that the four Y corners are stable and balanced on top of a flat surface and we are mostly done for this episode. Now we're going to make a recap for all the components we used to build this part of the printer. For hardware, we used two 375mm M10 threaded rods, four 205mm M8 threaded rods, 14 M10 nuts, 12 M10 W washers, 22 M8 nuts, 22 M8 W washers, and the 6mm aluminium frame. For printed parts, we used the four Y corners, the power supply holder, the Y belt idler, and the Y motor holder. Remember that you will have the links in the description to download all the modified STL files and the DWG file with the plans of the aluminium frame, as well as the links to buy all the hardware through our affiliate links on Amazon. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printed parts yourself, you can contact me by email through my address architects3dp at gmail.com. In the next episode, we will build the Y axis movement, so be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and share this episode so more people will be able to learn with the project. Finally, I just wanted to give a special thanks to all of you, and especially to our Patreon supporters that are slowly growing for continuing to make this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, getting nice rewards and making me super happy, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects through the big or clicking here in the top right corner. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.